Video games are always the scapegoat. Video games are bad for you. They're addicting and they rot your brain and they encourage violence and they're a waste of time. But recent studies show that video games can be good for you. Or at least they show that gamers are not bad people. One experiment tested the brains of gamers who play video games for 12 or more hours a week. These gamers' brains had a section that was larger than usual. The ventral striatum contains dopamine and activates when people anticipate exciting rewards. So basically, we gamers are just different. And we can get our dopamine in a way other than just smoking cigs or snorting coke. <laughs> games can also teach social skills to the socially challenged. Like... me. In Sims 3, I tried dating 10 people at once, and after all the fighting, crying, and kicking over of my garbage can at night, I realized it wasn't a real-life goal I should pursue. Video games are a good distraction for people who are in physical pain and or recovery. I'm sure it's good therapy too, and better than being heavily medicated all the time. Researchers a few years back had surgeons try a surgery simulation. No, not trauma center. They found that surgeons who had been avid video game players were over 30% faster and more accurate than those with no video game experience. In fact, the more games they had played, the better they were. I knew I'd make a good surgeon, I knew it! Video games can also turn people into better drivers or soldiers. Okay, I'll admit I'm a better driver in games than in real life. Don't even start with the Asian driver jokes. Playing fast-paced games trains the brain in quick decision-making or probabilistic inference. Good for the battlefield as well as the operating table. So there's my argument. Don't hate the gamers. We could be the one giving you open-heart surgery one day. 